Right, we're back with uh, Greg Scissorhands McKinney <laughs> and we're looking at filleting a gurnard this time so we showed you the snapper and how it's best done, get the best result and we'll have a look at a gurnard this time. Alrighty, so the gurnard's a little different from the snapper, the flesh is much finer and the fish aren't as wide so I actually prefer to use a nice thin knife and I uh, use these frost knives and they seem uh, a Swedish made knife and the steel is very good on them so I can keep them nice and sharp and uh, as I said the snapper knife for filleting is a big thick knife but for uh, taking these fillets off I like a nice little thin knife um, make sure you keep your board nice and clean keep your filleting hand which is on the knife nice and clean so if, you know if it gets covered in goo and that it doesn't slide up the knife okay so we turn them over you always fill it with the belly facing you not this way around because you cannot get the knife flat enough coming through here and you'll get caught up on this backbone along here so always so it's opposite to your snap yep so always fill it with the belly facing you there's little spikes here so just be careful of the little spikes at the back of the head and there are some on here if you're not so sure um, when you're hanging on to it use a rag put it over the head to hold it so you don't get uh, any spikes in you I've filleted one or two now so I uh, seem to be able to avoid them reasonably easily so knife under the spike cut down to the backbone and then just turn it over and cut all the way down to the tail. Do not cut the whole fillet off, just leave a little bit on the end here so that you can flip this over. Because the skin is very fine and it's really hard to hang onto by hand, if you just leave it attached to the fish and then just run the knife along the fillet. Take that off, so there's one fillet, turn the fish over and just do the other side. Now being a lefty I'd sort of do it back to front here but this is the easiest way and just cut down. Again, not all the way through. Turn that fillet over and just cut and take the fillet off. So they're quite a simple fish to fillet. And there's your two fillets, we'll get rid of that. Now there's a little bit of a trick to when you take the bones out, so we'll just take this little bit of stomach out. Just turn it over, fill it on the back here, and the bones are slightly curved, so you run the the knife along the top side there and as you get to the top here you just gently curve your knife away and you can actually feel it running along the bones because these bones in here actually turn that way same when you run on the other side run on the opposite side of that little it's quite hard to, to see on the opposite side there you just turn it so it turns along those bones and there's just a couple on the ribs so you just cut back this way and they're really fine so they're not and that's it take out this middle piece You've got a really nice piece of gurnard with no bones. We've taken the rib out, so prime eating fish. And uh, in my opinion, a much nicer fish to eat than the snapper. Very, very sweet. Doesn't take as long to cook. Um, it's just a stunning fish to eat. And same with this one. We'll just cut this bit out as well. So you found the winter fishing for gurnard is the best time? Uh, you can fish with them all year round in certain places, but we went up to the Kuiper Harbour and the, certainly in the winter they're uh, in absolute primo condition up there. And we go up there when the snapper fishing becomes a bit tough in the Harrogate Gulf and go up there and catch a few gurnard. That easy, very simple. Alright, good stuff. Well, there goes Greg's tackle tips and uh, filleting tips for you. And of course, um, don't forget to come and see us at Fish City for your tackle, boats and engines, and of course service on the engines. We'll be back next time with uh, some more tips and tackle tips for you. Thanks Greg. Thank you.